60. 60. I'm at 65. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Morning, guys. I just sat down to do my makeup, get ready for the day. Just got Vlogmas edited. It is now exporting, I mean uploading, into YouTube. Today I'm filming two outfits outside for How to Style on Sunday. How to Style is coming back. We just had the worst luck with How to Style because first Ryan's parents were here, then I was sick that whole week, and then it snowed. So we're finally getting back to... Did I leave my mascara in the bathroom? Yeah. Dang it. All right. Just opened a new mascara. It's always the best feeling. Actually, I don't know about that. I never like my mascara the first two times I use it. I'm trying to get all of my filming stuff in order in line before we go home for the holidays. The perfect day to be shooting outside because I think it's in the 50s actually. I'm kind of waiting for today to start shooting because of the weather. A few days have been in like the 30s, so that is not fun to film in. Today is the fifth day of my brows and so far still no itching or sores. So we're doing pretty good in that department. This is how windy it is outside right now. <laughs> so we just filmed one look and we are going down right now to film the second look. And I'm not telling you anything else. I'm not giving away any of the outfits because I kept getting in trouble for that. Um, I think it was last vlogmas. People were like, um, I want to be surprised. So you're going to be surprised, but surprise. surprise. Jenna is almost here. She's going to watch Stella while we go film the last look then tomorrow I'm gonna film the sit down talk through and then the how to style scarves for winter is wrapped up I'm getting hungry I want lunch like food I guess I could grab a bar since we are currently in stock of my favorite bars did I tell you guys we got another box we have two boxes of these now Ugh. We need to we needed to stock up for Texas, so so yeah. Poor Jenna had to get an Uber. Um, she was walking here from Fifth Ave, and she had to get an Uber because she's wearing her new Doc Martens, and she said they are like hurting her feet so badly. Well, Ashley and Ryan are shooting. I'm just working on the lookbook, but Stella is staring at me. She's been staring at me for like 20 minutes. What are you doing? Are you just gonna stare at me? Oh, oh, okay, okay, I'll come back you. Okay, hi, 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 hi. Hey, no, no. Oh my. <laughs> yeah? I'm trying because I just edited yesterday's vlogmas and realized how uneventful it was, so we're sitting here trying to think of things to do today. So we're eating. Um, <laughs> this is us eating. I asked Insta stories what you think we should do today. Missy texted me and said, five minute makeup challenge, or the no mirror makeup challenge, but we both have makeup on, so. She said, spoonful of condiments challenge, and I said, Nothing. Diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, no. Nothing goes in my mouth. No condiments alone go in my mouth. What? Like, there's so many challenges we could do. That, like, what? I don't know. Oh, wait. We've, we've got some Insta stories here. Talk about the worst gift you've ever been given for Christmas. What if that person watches this? Yeah. I gave a really bad gift for someone. <laughs> what? It wasn't even, it wasn't even in, like a bad gift. It was like, like how I like packaged it. Like you were in a hurry? No, like I was in like fifth grade and it was like a secret Santa. Oh. And I don't even want to say it. it's really embarrassing. I feel like fifth grade you get a pass for bad wrapping though. And then someone like called me out for it. Oh. I like, I don't even remember what I got her, but I didn't have any tissue paper so I wrapped it in napkins. <laughs> <laughs> it 
least tape it? All right. All right. Well, I don't like, know. Are you napkin with like patterns on <laughs> Was it at least like Christmas patterns? No, it was like a blue, like... <laughs> go to Roosevelt Island. Okay, go, go. go get your purse. <laughs> Film all of your bags. Ryan's in the bedroom right now, I can't go in there. He's on a call with the client. All right, so just got my Insta stories. I just checked on what you guys wanna see and a lot of you said you wanna see my handbags, so what we're gonna do. First, yikes, that is from today's filming. All right, I just put all of my bags on the bed. So I'm going to just bring up a chair, pull up a chair. Sitting down is not gonna work, so I think I'm just gonna have to stand up and show you guys like this. But the bag that I'm carrying right now is this one right here from Anthropology, and I love it because it's round. I like the braided detail here, front and back. These are the other two bags I got that day. My little leopard one, another little round handle bag. Literally nothing fits in here, so um, <laughs> I have to kind of be careful like where I carry this. And then this big tote right here. I haven't carried this yet, but when I go home, to go to Texas, I'm gonna use this as my travel tote and like my shopping tote. It's as big as my torso, but I really love it. I feel like I have so many Zara bags, so let's get into those first. It's just basically black and white stripes, has a long strap, pretty good for summer and fall and just every season. Two more little fun bags I have from Zara are these two. This one has little coins and stars and those bugs. This one just has flowers on it. I feel like this is good for um, like spring and summer. This is good, I feel like I'm cleaning out my bag. So I'm gonna do like a spring and summer pile and then a winter pile so I can keep everything separated. These are two of my little embellished bags from Zara. So I've got this one, it's like velvet with a lot of beading, and cool detail on it. This one is this really pretty deep purple color with these pink doves it looks like. Ooh, Gotham Pokey. I love Gotham Pokey. Got this guy, black and navy little bag. Also doesn't hold a ton, but it's really cute and I just think it's fun and I love the strap on it. Forgot about this one. This is in the back of my closet. A snakeskin, faux snakeskin bag with red on the back. So this is really cute for fall and winter. Um, got some really cool colors in it. Hold on to that for later. Huh. Just black, beaded, super cute. I carry this a lot in the summertime, but I haven't really gotten it out for winter. So I need to, I think it's missing a bead though. I don't know, I feel like you would never know if it was missing a bead because they're like everywhere. I love this red one. It's a really pretty color and I like all the details on it. Two more from Zara, my little metallic collection. <laughs> this one is just basic silver. This one has gold, and then on the back is rose gold. I don't know if you guys remember, I carried this all the time in the summer, and I actually still really love it. Here is this one that I got last year. It is like my western looking bag. I don't really care this a whole, carry out this a whole lot anymore because the clasp broke, and this black sometimes transfers onto my clothes if I'm not careful. But I think it has a really unique look to it. Another Zara Western inspired bag is this one. I don't know why I haven't carried this. Oh, the strap is kind of short. So I haven't really carried this a whole bunch, but um, I like this. The color is really pretty and I like all the details. It's just very specific with what outfit you wear with it. And my last three from Zara, my navy patent one, it's like a really, really dark shade of like midnight blue. My floral one that I just got not that long ago. Again, I haven't carried this because it's just very specific. It's not something that I grab all the time. This one, this is an oldie but goodie. I'm sure you guys remember this one. I just think the colors are so cool and I really love the seatbelt strap on this one. These are my two totes from Target. And I remember I got these last year during Christmas because they were all 50% off. I, I think I got them all as like 
and band-aid. I got a bunch of people these as Christmas gifts also because I was like, oh, these are so perfect. They're just like the perfect little faux suede tote. Two more from Target. This one is my summer little summer black tote. You guys definitely remember this one, my little who, what, where crossbody ring bag. For Topshop, we've got this little metallic guy. Very cute. I love this. Um, I like it more than my Zara one. Um, this one just looks a little bit nicer. This one always looks, almost looks kind of like Proenza. And then this one, I wear this one all the time because I just love the two different materials. But I've probably found like $10 in change in all these purses. So two more from Topshop. This guy right here, I love the handle on this one. It's really cute. And then this one, I dropped this one the other day and one of the pearls fell out, but luckily I found it, so I just need to glue that guy back in and then I can get back to carrying this one. This one from Aldo, pretty specific, not something I carry all the time, but I really, really like this. Oh my gosh, I've had this clutch forever. It's something that I carry when I'm traveling, my iPad in it and my chargers and stuff. So um, I don't really wear this going out. It is pretty big, but this looks like Alexander Wang. I think that's why I got it. I think I got it like in high school. But I desperately wanted an Alexander Wang bag, but my mom was like, um, I'm not, no. <laughs> so this was the next best thing. I think this is from um, like Francesca's or something. Do you guys know Francesca's? Then my two ring bags from Forever 21. Love both of these. Lost the long straps to both of them, but it's fine because I don't really, I wouldn't really use it anyways. One from Forever 21. It's just a plain black um, crossbody bag. Oh. I have been looking for these. Oh, I forgot about this. I love this little backpack. Really wanted the Stella McCartney one, but they were just too expensive. So this looks just like a Stella McCartney. So I got this one instead. And it was, I don't know, $13. Got my little mini Balenciaga. I got this at a secondhand store in Austin, like a little consignment shop. It's got a birthday candle and three packs of honey in it. So I carry this one quite a bit during the summer. One from Melly Bianco, my little bag from Free People. I sold. I carried this one so much during the summer, um, so I'm kind of trying to like rotate it around, but I always end up defaulting back to it because it's just cute and little and I feel like it has the right amount of hardware on it. White bags. This one is from Forever 21, and this is a good one. I like the color of this one. It's a little too white to carry during the winter time, but this is good for summer. This one is the one I got. Mm, wet ones. And wet ones and poop poop bags that's funny this bag is by Flynn and I got this one at Bloomingdale's my Celine tote that I literally carry all the time um, I don't really carry this a lot in style videos because it is so big and it literally covers up my whole entire outfit but on a day-to-day -day basis I grab this one all the time my gosh my chapstick I've been looking for this lots of change lots of receipts this clutch that I got at Anthropology, like a metallic gold and silver clutch. It's really cool. A hotel key card. Love this one from Target. My who, what, where I carried. I carried this one so much that I haven't really been carrying it a lot because I like overdid this one. So I've been trying to change it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this bag I've had since like college because it looks like Valentino. So I love this one. Forever 21, boop boop. This is my go-to bag in the summer. My bag from Free People, my little basket, basket bag. I don't know why. Receipts, it smells weird. Yeah, I love this. Can't wait to get this back out when it's um, spring and summertime. That is, that's it for my handbags back home in Texas. My Balenciaga, which the handle completely broke off, so that's in Texas. And um, my Givenchy bag, it's cream. Oh my god, you guys are gonna die. It's cream. And it was beside that black suede Zara bag, 
and the suede transferred all over. It was in the duster, but some of the duster had, uh, it slid off and it's just solid black on one side. So that is in Texas as well. I tried to get it cleaned and they just made it worse so it's completely ruined. Still trying to figure out what to do with both of those. I have a lot of fun bags. I don't really have too many designer bags. That is something that I definitely in the future want to invest in. Um, it's not a priority for me right now at the moment. I'm so happy with the bags that I have, but that's what I've got right now and that's fun. I'm glad you guys suggested that. Now I get to go um, put them back. <laughs> oh, and I just found this one. Look how cute this is. This is a newer one from Zara. I thought it was so cute. I don't know where I'm wearing this to, but I'm gonna wear it soon because I really like this. Hi guys. Jenna is, whoa. Oh. So, Jenna is gone for the day. It's just us here. And we're gonna make dinner. I'm gonna make dinner. We only have, we're running low on groceries. On the we grosh. Are. We've only got one full day left. We have stuff for spaghetti, um, like a taco salad, like a big taco salad, or either one of those sunken. Both. Both? You want spaghetti with a side of taco salad? Yeah. You would. I'll take a plate of spaghetti. I will have a spoon of spaghetti, please. You know why I'm leaning more towards the taco salad? Why? Because I have a really good avocado. Jenna just texted me and she was like, do you know that rapper that lives in your building? He just walked out to a car in the front of the building and came back in with like envelopes of $100 bills. Sixty. I meant sixty-five. Really? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. I'm nervous. Tell me. There you go. All right. Well done. High five. <laughs> wow. Tell me about your bowl. What? Tell me about your bowl. That's your bowl. Oh. All right. Don't worry about yours then. Bolo stuff. Beans. Meat. Cotto. Salsa. Chips. Booch. You actually, this time, don't have a bowl of stuff. I mean, looks like a bowl of stuff to me. But it's like actual things that actually go together. Happy. Everything goes together. Proud of you. I'm proud because you didn't try to smother black beans on top of spaghetti like you did that one time. <laughs> black beans and spaghetti is a very common dish in many countries. Name one. It's way over your head, don't worry about it. Name a country where people eat black beans in the spaghetti. I mean, is it, it's obvious, the United States of America. America, if you don't like it, you can get out. We're gonna turn off the camera and go eat dinner. It's not going anywhere, just relax. Hello everyone, welcome to answering comments in bed. A cold beverage, my phone. Messy after shower hair. I have my hair back and no makeup. I look like my brother. All right, I just turned the camera off for a little bit because I got on my phone to answer comments and I was like, that's weird. Nobody has commented on my latest video. I go and look, my video is not there. After Ryan and I did some investigating for a little bit and some panicking, it seems that I deleted yesterday's Vlogmas. I shot a video for Express. They always want to see the rough draft first to make sure that they're happy with their clips. Then they'll give me changes. I'll make the changes, upload a new one. So then I have two videos that are the same. One is the rough draft, one is the final. A couple of times, my rough draft has gone live. And so in order to avoid that happening, I go through and just delete all of my rough drafts. Well, I deleted what I thought was the rough draft of Express, but it was actually yesterday's 
vlog. These are my videos, right? Here is a rough draft, right here, right smack in the middle of all of my videos. And the thumbnails look the same, so I deleted it. And I'm so pissed because it literally takes so long to edit those. And that's just like a whole day of filming, three hours of editing. And didn't I wake up at like 6 a.m. to edit that one? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so mad at myself. So that happened. Why can't you just re-upload it, Ashley? Well, since I am doing Vlogmas, and I'm loading so much content onto my computer on top of a 4K style video, 4K quality style video, I have to continuously delete clips as I load them. So all of the clips are deleted from my computer. They're still on my memory card, but I am not about to re-edit that whole entire vlog. Those of you guys who missed it, it was basically me showing my favorite hair thickening shampoo, which is Nioxin. I will link it below. So someone said, Dana, Dana has been commenting a lot and I love your comments, Dana. I wanted to purchase a blow dryer and I saw you using your white T3, T3 blow dryer and you said it was amazing. Now you are using the Harry Josh. Can you please tell me which one is better to buy? I personally like the Harry Josh because it is small and compact. Um, the T3 one, I absolutely loved, but it was just too big to fit in my drawer, small apartment probs, and I already had a blow dryer, so I actually gave that one to my sisters, and when I go home and visit my family, I use that one. So I basically am just keeping the T3 one at home, but Harry Josh all the way. I love the T3 brushes. I have the T3 round brush, and it is so so good it makes my hair feel really um, like I'm getting a good blow dry a good straightening blow dry a question from Kayla why do you pat your lotion on your face instead of rubbing it in rubbing actually stretches out the skin and it breaks down all of the collagen and the last stain obviously this is over time if you need to if you're in a hurry and you need to rub your moisturizer every now and then it's okay but just don't make it a habit Kayla and you keep that in mind as well over there I mean, it's okay, obviously, to do it every now and then, like I said, but try not to make it a habit. <laughs> I sound like a mother scolding her child. And especially the skin around your eyes. I know you're especially supposed to, like, just gently pat. I used to be the worst. I used to be, like... <laughs> I did research on it because I love doing research on things after I hear about them. Sure enough, I've been doing it wrong my whole entire life. That's probably why I'm getting wrinkles right here. What is yours and Ryan's zodiac sign? I am an Aries... Leo, what are you Leo. even? You are a Leo, mm -hmm. okay. I wonder if we're compatible. Will somebody tell me if Ryan and, if Leo and Aries are compatible? I notice you still follow plant-based diet when you travel or go on holidays. How do you guys manage to do that even when it's so tempting? I need help with tips. I let holidays, trips, stress as an excuse to eat outside what I would really like to follow as far as healthy food. Um, I really think it's just mind over matter. I mean, no one's forcing you know, junk food down your throat. I feel as an adult, you make decisions on your own. And I completely understand going on vacation and just like wanting to eat everything in sight. I believe in everything in, in moderation, even when you're not on vacation. Um, I could eat completely healthy all day long, go to the gym and then have a giant bowl of ice cream and like a few cookies at night. I just think it's all about moderation and just listen to your body if you're feeling like crap if you're feeling sluggish then put some healthy food in your body don't feed it junk uh, i know vacation's hard vacation is really really hard but just mind over matter Can you explain your bed situation i just want to see if you sleep with a duvet without the duvet cover and then a formal comforter on top of it i actually get this question a lot so i have just a regular comforter the pin tuck one that's on my bed. And then at the end of the bed, Stella's dreaming. Luna, wake up. Who the fuck is Luna? <laughs> at the end of my bed, I have a duvet with a duvet cover. Apparently I'm saying gala wrong. Gala, not gala. Not to be that person, but I thought it might be nice for the sake of knowledge. <laughs> you are being that person. Can we, can we fact check that, please? I've always said gala. Yeah, as I think that's an American thing. 
I've never heard of gala. Someone commented, Denise commented and said, Cambridge Dictionary says gala for the US and gala elsewhere. Maybe it's different regionally in the US as well. All right. Thanks, Denise. Lindsay Smucker, I'll be your NYC friend. My closest friends don't live in the city either and making friends as an adult is hard. Lindsay, let's be friends. Let's go grab coffee. <laughs> I'm serious, message me on Instagram. Steven Tyler's daughter. That's my girl. I freaking love Steven Tyler. I'll be his daughter. Is it because I have a big mouth? Yep. Ashley, this vlog is certain to inspire a lot of young girls who are interested in vlogging. I'm curious what you majored in and what your career goals are, if you don't mind me asking. You have a great work ethic. I majored in kinesiology. Um, I was going to be a physical therapist, but you know, after four years of working my butt off in school and kind of having my mindset on, on that is what I was gonna do, that was the career path I was gonna take, you know, I kind of slowly started realizing that my true love was for fashion and I made, you know, a bold decision to follow that dream. It was one of the hardest decisions that I, I, I ever had to make because it's completely like life-changing. Do I go this way or do I go this way? So I ended up just following my heart and my passion and this is kind of where I ended up, I guess. So my, And my parents totally supported me um, you know, no one was weird about it. Everyone is understanding. I honestly, you know, going back to where you said I have great work ethic, that is one of the best compliments that anyone can ever give me because I was raised to have great work ethic. I've been working since I was 15. I was raised to, if you want something, you go after it yourself. Nothing is handed to you. If you don't feel like you were taught great work ethic, lucky for you, you can teach yourself great work ethic. It's not something that someone has to, you have to have grown up with or anything like that. There are books you can read, podcasts you can listen to, you can motivate yourself to have great work ethic. It's just about setting your mind to it and really being self-aware of, of what's going on in your in your life and in your surroundings. Vlogmas tip, maybe you should film when you're doing more festive activities and upload once a week or every other week when you have more material instead of daily vlogs because your vlogmas seems very repetitive and all work related. Here's a little tip for you. How about you don't tell me when to upload? Mm -hmm. I have a tiny channel which nobody ever watches. I'm trying my best. Aw, Jesse, everybody go watch Jesse. Jesse Brader, B-R-A-D-R, B-R-A-D-E-R. -E Way to ruin Jesse's shout out. Damn it. Browse on fleek, thanks Zoe Austin. Every time I look at Zoe Austin's um, profile picture, I want to wear my Baker Boy hat because she's so cute in her picture. Everyone says that Uniglow layering pieces, layering basics are the best. Don't you wash your face before going to the gym? Gym. G-I-M. Gym. Oh, gym. Don't watch it. The worst movie ever. I don't know. I'm like, I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to scary movies, but I thought it was pretty scary. I screamed out loud once. Do you usually give Stella a bite of food, of the food that you make? No, definitely not. I put in her dog food, I mix sometimes applesauce, sweet potatoes, kewits. What else do we put in Swiss Stella's food? No more cheat codes for Sims. La 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 la. You make me want to change my diet so badly. This is by Let There Be Glam. She always comments. I love her. Um, I love what you make. It always looks yummy. I'm scared because I'm the... I, thanks to my mom, I'm the pickiest person on the planet. Any tips? Honestly, it's just about trial and error. Like, you're just gonna have to try a bunch of different things and combinations and see what you like and what you don't like. It's a process. Yes, Ryan, let your beard grow. Let it grow. The beard's gone. The beard's gone. I have no idea how much that shit itches. You're just a baby. That's also partially the reason. I need higher prescription glasses. Mary Chrysler. Oh, everyone was asking what size I got in the express jacket. I got a double extra small. What self tanner do you use? I use Bondi Sands. Bondi. <laughs> I don't like your vegan diet because I don't think it's good, but you're the queen of fashion, girl. So Alicia, uh, am I okay? Alicia? Alicia? 
Alicia. <laughs> oh, Alicia. Ryan. Alicia? No. Alicia. Alicia. No. Let's have someone write out like a mnemonic. A L I C I A. Alicia. Is this real life? Is this real? I don't make shit up. I don't make shit up either. Either? You can't even say either right. I don't make it up either. Either? <laughs> Good Alicia. Hey, whoa. Whoa. She is bringing up to my attention about my audio is unbalanced. The music sounds with a much more volume than your voice. So you have to like turn it up and down and it's annoying. So, so many people have told me this. It's so weird though. When I'm editing on my headphones, everything sounds perfect. So I don't know what's going on. We're gonna go and I'm gonna try not to delete this one or get corrupted files. Looney. Looney Toony. What? I don't know how to end vlogs now. It's like all of a sudden, I forgot. You hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. You hang up. No, you hang up. Yeah, bro. Mmm.